Hey friends, Shay here. Happy Pride! So today is June 1st. I'm getting this up to you a little later than I hoped to, but today we are here to do my monthly reset. So in these videos, if you've not seen one of these from me before, I usually go over my stats from the previous month and just kind of my thoughts moving forward in the upcoming month to let you guys kind of know what's to come on the channel. Um, so you saw me make my pile of possibilities for my TBR. I do have a reading project that I've started that I hope to finish in June. Um, if you saw some of the titles, you might know what's going on, but um, I'm not sure how familiar a lot of my audience is with some of the titles. So anyhow, obviously it's June, so we're gonna read tons of queer things, but let's first off get into the stats for the month of May. Now, my reading did slow down a little bit, and it may slow down a bit more in June. So I'm just going to give you a heads up on that. Um, so the books that I've read this month, I read 20 books. One of those was a reread for the Chapter 3 podcast. That was Electric Idol. I did the episode with Izzy. I will leave that linked. I think it's in this corner. I'll leave it linked in the corner. Um, formats in which I read them. Six of those were physicals, three of those were ebooks, and 11 of those were audiobooks. A lot of my arcs that I had that I was working on, I was actually able to get the audios because they were already out, and so I ended up listening to them rather than physically reading them. Um, my average rating was a 4.0, so it was a very good reading month, and one of those titles was from Kindle Unlimited. My genre breakdown here, I read 10 contemporary romances. It was a very romance-heavy month because a lot of my arcs are romances. I had three paranormal romances. I had one middle-grade fantasy. I say middle-grade for the age demographic and then fantasy for the actual genre. Um, then Don May or the Chinese light novels, I read two of those. I read one historical fiction, two contemporary fiction, and one fantasy. So, it, like I said, it was a very romance-heavy month, but I don't think we'll be quite as romance-heavy in um, the month of June. So now, let's jump over to the manga stats. Alrighty, so my average rating for the month was 4.5, which again was very good, but I've gotten very selective at what manga I'm picking up and which ones that I just um, don't. So I'm mostly reading things I'm genuinely enjoying, which is part of what I want my manga reading to be doing for me. I read a total of 34 volumes, which is pretty low for me, but I'm honestly okay with that. Like I was able to enjoy some of my other hobbies this month, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I see that continuing throughout the summer. And I may try to sneak some travel in as well, and that usually lowers my reading, my reading amount. So I read 12 shonen volumes, 4 seinen volumes. I think that's my lowest seinen month so far. Um, I read 13 shoujo titles, and then I read 4 joseis, which felt better. I still am working on getting more jose into my collection, obviously. Um, and then one of those was classified as a yaoi, not any of the other demographics. So those are my quick stats. I had a really good reading month. So even though it might not have been as much, it was higher quality. And so I'm definitely okay with that. But as I said, June is pride. So I'm primarily going to be focusing on my queer reads. Um, I've got one romance I'm in the middle of that I'm almost done with that is queer, so I'm going to go ahead and put that into June. And then the book that I really want to start today is Love Letters for Joy by my dear friend Melissa C. I am so excited for this queer Cyrano de Bergerac situation. Like, I just need it in my life, and I'm so excited to have it in my hands already. I adored her first book, You, Me, and Our Heartstrings. It was one of my favorite reads of last year. So again, I am very excited for this one. Other than that, I'm just going to kind of mood read queer books. Like, I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I said, you saw me get my pile together. Um, I will be doing quite a bit of manga reading towards the end of the month because I'm doing manga love in summer. So the goal is to read 13 volumes in 13 days um, to kind of finish out the month. So we're going to start on the 18th and go through the 30th. And I am very excited. We'll be doing some reading sprints and some things during that. But... It'll kind of help me narrow things down. So one thing I did do is I kind of checked in 
with where I'm at for read what you own. I should tell you those stats. I didn't share those before. So I'm here to share my shame with you. So starting out the month of June, manga wise, I have 141 volumes on my TBR. I had gotten down to 80 something at one point. So clearly I want to focus on that a little bit, buy a little less, read a little more. Because I've kind of just been going buying crazy lately. So now let's quickly look at the book ones. So physically, I am up to 242, which is higher than where I started the year. So clearly I need to work on physicals. I have 774 ebooks, which is down from the beginning of the year, but still higher than I want it to be. And then I have 30 audiobooks, which is up from the beginning of the year. But Libro FM has been hitting it out of the park. And I've been able to acquire amazing things for free through my audio influencer program. P.S. Um, I have a, a link down below for Libro FM if you're interested in that. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with those. I'm probably going to do a lot of physical reading and audiobook listening this month. I'm going to try to not acquire as many. I haven't looked at Libro's list for June yet, but I'm assuming I'll probably pick up one or two and we'll just kind of go from there. So anyways, this reset is just all about me kind of just doing what I want in the month of June. Um, I think I had a little bit too much structure the last couple of months and it's made me not want to read. So I'm going to do a little more of a mood ready kind of month and go from there. Um, once I finish my current audiobook, which is an arc that I started that's coming out soon, I don't think it's queer though. I'm going to just go back to some things that I had started previously that I've been meaning to get back to. I have the last two books of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan to finish. These are the ones that Brandon Sanderson helped write. I've already read the first one that he helped write and it was a little easier for me to understand and keep up with. So I want to hurry and finish up the last two so I can finish off this series. And then I would like to do my like Canius trilogy rereads. So I'd be rereading the first two and then reading the last one for the first time. So I can have that one off my list. Um, and that's one of my 23 and 23 books. So I would like to get that done um, audio wise. So I might not do as many romances on audio this month, which I'm totally okay with, honestly. So yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. The other thing that I didn't mention is I will be, I have two reads that I'll be doing for live shows. Um, obviously, well, obviously I'll be doing the Yona long ones. That's an obvious, that's a given at this point. Um, I will be rereading Wicked Beauty for chapter three podcast. And then I'm going to be reading Daja's Story by Tamora Pierce for the Circle of Magic read-along. And we are going to do the second quartet as well, which I'm super excited about. I've really been enjoying these books, and I think they're great. So with that said, I believe that's everything. If you're here just because you love me, leave me your favorite heart emoji down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. It's been raining for days now. Been running like a child. Can't feel the cold. I'm lost here with you, lost in the woods Lost as I choose